Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord, this morning. Ah, uh, as soon as I begin to preach the word, the sun is coming out. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. You are the bright in the morning star. Ah, uh, you are the bridge over troubled waters. Ah, uh, you are the shelter in the time of the storm. You are Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. God, I provider, our provider. Uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 said, You are the wonderful counselor. You are the mighty God. You are the Prince of Peace. You're the everlasting Father. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. And his mercy endures forever. I don't wait to thanksgiving to give God thanks. When you love the Lord, you give God thanks every day. David said, Hallelujah, I will bless the Lord at all times, not sometimes, not just only on Sabbath day, not just only on Sunday, I will bless the Lord at all times. That means seven days a week. In the morning time, Lord, I thank you. In the afternoon time, Lord, I thank you. Lord, in the evening time, Lord, I thank you. When we go to bed at night, Lord, I thank you. When we go to the laundry mat, Lord, I thank you. When you go to the barber shop or the beautician, Lord, I thank you. When you go shopping in the supermarket, Lord, I thank you for providing for us. Ah, I feel Jesus right now. When the praises go up, the blessings will come down. Honey, when you put God first, he'll bless you. When you obey God's holy words, I make you the head and not the tail. He said, I make you above only and not beneath. Don't forget about obeying God's holy word. Do not leave that out. Oh, Lord Jesus. The time to get busy for God. The time for churches to get busy for God. The time for churches to stop playing church. There's too much gossiping going on in church. Backbiting. People are envious of each other. Especially in our black African-American churches. I'm praying for my black African-American people. We're not saying everybody's like that. So if it don't apply, let it fly. But it's too much envy and jealousy even in church. How can we tell somebody about Jesus that we ain't living for Jesus ourselves? If we can't hardly show love to each other in the church, how are we going to show love to the world outside the church? Time to get busy for God. Time to get serious about God. God is not a joke. When Jesus went to that cross, it was not a joke. When he was marred more than any man, it was not a joke. When he was whipped all night long, that was not a joke. When they put crowns of thorns in his head, that was not a joke. It was because he loved us. The passion of Christ. Jesus said, "He laid, I laid down my life. And I have the power to take it back up again. Jesus could have had to destroy the Roman Empire who crucified him and those who put him on the cross, but he didn't do it. Because he was dying for you and me. He was even dying for them. That's why he said, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16, you all know the chapter. Verse 17 says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He don't want to see you perish in hell. It's time for us to get busy for God. There's too much drama in the church. There's too much drama going on among God's people. Gossiping. Hacking people's Facebooks. Folks spend more time chasing after another man's wife. Uh-oh. Don't turn that down. If you don't say amen, you say ouch. Folks spend more time chasing after another man's wife. Uh-oh. Don't turn that down, y'all. Stay on YouTube. Folks spend more time chasing after, after another man's wife or another woman's husband rather than chasing after Jesus. Come on. God gave me a scripture. Pastors spend more time. We're not saying every pastor. So if it don't apply, let it fly. The book of Jeremiah, chapter number 23, verse 1, said, Woe be unto the pastors who scatter my flock, who destroy my sheep, 
to me, Playboy pastors spend more time chasing after a married woman instead of giving flowers to his own wife. Uh oh. The pastors spend more time lusting after another man's wife like David did before he repented. David was lusting after Bathsheba, who was not his wife, it was Uriah's wife. Come on. People spend more time fighting over a man who don't want neither one of you. You think this is Jerry Springer show? This should be the Jesus show. Not Jerry Springer show. Folks spend more time fighting over a woman who don't want neither one of you. Women spend more time fighting over a man in church who not paying child support. You spend more time fighting over a woman who just want to use you. She's a gold digger who wants to push the trigger. The devil come pretty. The devil come handsome. The devil know what you like. He come as your angel of light and she's a witch who needs a switch for being a witch. Come on. Church people spend more time gossiping on each other in church. You can't tell someone about Jesus and you play in church. Do you wonder why folk don't want to come to church? Because my Lord is so much hatred in church. Sometimes folk outside the church will do you better than folk in the church. God bless y'all today. Happy to see the young men of God here today. I'm going to encourage the young men to let them know I see greatness in y'all. Hallelujah. My God, I got my mowers hurt in church. I'm not saying all churches is like that, but my Lord is so much drama in church. Pastors up there, talking about Jesus is out of order. I heard Jeremiah Bryan say that, no, he was the one who was out of order. Jesus is never out of order. He's perfect. He's blameless. Everything that Jesus said and did was perfect. And people sat right there and still follow false prophets. Blind leading the blind, they all fall in the same ditch. I don't know how God's people can sit up there and follow false prophets. Giving money to false prophets. Then they wonder why they got, now you wonder why you got so many demons? Because you have to give your money to Kenneth Copeland. Oh, come on, come on. Giving money to these pastors. Doing witchcraft. Putting spells on people. Like Simon the Sorcerer did. In the book of Acts chapter number 8, when he bewitched the city, you got to be careful who you follow it. Jesus said if it was possible, they can fool even the very elect. So when you got the Holy Ghost and when you chase after Jesus, let's go into God's word. These are not my words, these are God's words. Let's get into the word of God. A man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. That's what Jesus said to Satan in the wilderness. Basic instruction before leaving earth, the Bible, where you receive God's holy information in your heart, then God could do a transformation in your life. If any man be in Christ, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, he becomes a what? A new creature, new creature. Oh, things, O-L-D, I passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Look what the Bible said. Turn with me in the Bible to the book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. James is one of the apostles who Jesus have chose, one of Jesus Christ's disciples. He wrote this in the Bible. 39 books of the Old Testament, 27 books of the New Testament, all together, 66 books of the Bible. He said, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Say it again. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Clean up your lives, you sinners. I'm not condemning nobody, because this is also going for me too. Purify your hearts. I'm just reading what the words say. You people who can't make up your mind. Well, that's deep. Now that part, I didn't even know if that part was even there. Who cannot make up their mind. There are people who are double-minded. They don't know who they want to serve. The Bible said that a double-minded man, including a double-minded woman, is unstable in all his ways. This is deep. This part, I didn't even know that was even there. I knew this part was here. James chapter 4, verse 8. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Wow. 
Clean up your lives. Cleanse yourselves, you sinners, he said. Purify your hearts. Now remind me what the scripture said in Jeremiah chapter number 17, verse 9, that the heart is desperately wicked. It is a sea for above all things. Who can know it? He said, I, the Lord God, knows the heart. So he said, purify your hearts. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Purify my mind. Purify my heart. If I thought evil thoughts in my mind, Lord, forgive me. I don't want just my suit to be right. I want my heart to be right because the devil can wear a nice suit too. That don't change the fact that he's the devil. Now look what it says here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's get into the scriptures. It said a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now look what James said. He said, make up your mind. Look what he said in James chapter 1 verse 8. A double-minded man, which includes a double-minded woman, is unstable in all their ways. They, folk, they don't make, can't make up their mind who they want to serve. One day they're serving Jesus on Sunday, and then God bless you, and doing witchcraft on Monday. Can't serve two masters. You can't say you love Jesus and then turn back around and shake hands with the devil after you don't kiss Jesus on the cheek. Because Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. A lot of folk in church can't make up their mind who they want to serve. That's why the Bible said, choose ye this day who you shall serve. For going to church on Sabbath, going to church on Sunday, me, oh, I love you, Jesus, speaking in tongues. Time to get out of church. You're cheating on your husband, cheating on your wife, knowing the Bible says that adulteress will not inherit the kingdom of God. First Corinthians chapter number six, verse nine. Who are you to judge? It's the truth. It's in the Bible. The Bible said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So James said in the word, make up your mind. In other words, choose ye this day who you shall serve. People going to church on Sunday and still praying church. Some folks only go to church to show up their ministry. Whenever they come in church half naked, seducing men, are they chasing after married man instead of getting her own husband? No, she want to get another woman's husband. That's a Jezebel spirit. I'm talking about women in church. I'm not saying all women. Some of them talking about the evangelists. How are you evangelists and your breasts out and you bring on seductions? God, thank you, man of God. Thank you, preacher. Hallelujah. He said, preacher, man of God. That's right. Somebody love the truth. You got men playboys in church. Somebody, you preaching the word. How are you preaching the word but not living the word? You got to practice what you preach, not just preach it. I know we all make mistakes, but let's not use that as an excuse. You say, well, I'm not perfect, so I can commit a dog. You know, you know better. God give us a conscience of no right from wrong. God already put his word for us to obey. Not just pray, but obey. Tell someone, pray and obey. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. I saw one woman one time in church. Somebody, oh, preacher, why? I got a prophetic word for you. All her thighs was out, all her breasts was out, no bra, and somebody she wouldn't give me prophetic word. Somebody she evangelist. I was nice to her, but I said, oh, sister, I don't let I don't let just anyone lay hands on me. Because if she lay hands on me, she might put a lust demon on me. I'm a man. Come on. The pastor's allowing her to minister, and she wearing mini dresses in the pulpit and got men drooling. Bishops up there sitting up there lusting carrying on it a jezebel spirit in the pulpit a seducing spirit in the pulpit come on jesus warned the pastors of the church about jezebel in the book of revelation chapter number 20 verse no revelations chapter 2 verse 20 he told the pastor of the church i have a few things against thee because thou suffer that woman jezebel yeah jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things offered unto idols. There is a seducing spirit in the churches. You got male Jezebels and women Jezebels go around seducing another woman's husband or another man's wife. And then you are trying to invite folk to church. What kind of church is that? Some of these churches became a whole house, not a holy house. Come on. The church is supposed to be a holy house, not a whole house. Our whole house. Come on. You preach it too hard. It's true. Are you chasing after Jesus? Are you drawing nigh to him? So when you're drawing nigh to God, God will draw nigh to you.
Because now God see that you're hungry to know more about him. When you love Jesus, you want more of him. When you love Jesus, you want to learn more about his word. That's why Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's why Jesus said, abide in my words and let my words abide in you. Now you can seek and he shall find. Now you can knock and the door shall be opened. Why? Because now you are in the will of God because you're obeying the word of God. Are we perfect? No. We all make mistakes. That's why we must pray daily. Pray without ceasing. Fast and pray. And God will help you in the areas where you're weak at. God will help you in the areas where you're struggling at. Whatever you're struggling with, God will help you to get over those struggles. Other words, you don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Oh, I felt that right there. Amen, brother. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Say something on YouTube about the Lord through you. God, to God be the glory. Yes. God is always good. God That's is, right. God is merciful. Yes. God is all you need in your life. Go ahead. God is everything you need. Yes. You always, 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 always take a step back. Yes. Remember that. It's never too late to change That's your right. life. Never too late to change your life. You can always change your life. Look at me. I come from being an alcoholic. And I am now grateful and merciful to Church, the Lord. Say on the microphone. I want everybody to hear you around the world. They watch me in Puerto Rico, Haiti, all around the world. God sent you here. I, I, Turn this up. I want them to hear. Oh yeah, I bring you some. I bring you something, Pastor. Oh, thank you. Yes. Keep. Oh, that's so. Oh, this is for me. Yeah, that's for you. Oh, that's so nice I for saw, you. I was calling you yesterday. Yeah. Oh wow, I needed something like this. Yeah. What? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah. God, you you are an angel from heaven. Oh my God, thank you, man of God. Keep telling your testimony right now, little Lord. Amen, Preach brother. the word. Go ahead. Amen. So, yes, sir. Listen, listen. I come from alcoholism. I come from taking pills. I come from the streets. I come from Go doing ahead. everything that has been. I come from seeing it all in yes. the world. I can, I come. I come from New York. I'm in New York. I'm from. I'm from the Bronx. Me too. So, you know, I'm from the Bronx, <laughs> Washington Heights. I come from Queens. I've been. I've been in Queens, and I'm in Newark. So I seen it all. So I clean up my act. Why? Cause the Lord makes you clean Hallelujah. up your act. The Lord makes you clean up your act. Yes. The Lord, the, when you accept, when you when you allow, cause you gotta allow the Lord to come in your heart. That's right. You gotta say, Lord, I want you in my in my in my heart. That's right. And when you say, Lord Jesus, I need you, because I know you scream His name every day. Go ahead. Every day you tell the Lord, Oh, I feel the Spirit. Yes. Every day you tell, every day you cry out to the Lord, no matter what you. No matter how you, how you feeling, you cry out to the Lord That's every right. night, and you and you and you tell the Lord, I need you, Lord. I, I want you to bless me. Yes. Right? But you want a new house, you want a new car, you want a new this. Preacher. But you know something? What about spiritual? What about spiritual healing? That's it. What about your sufferings? That's what right. What about everything? Yes. So when you need it, when you need it the most, that's when God brings it to you. And when God brings that to you, yes, you allow Him to take that boulder that you have on top of you and he takes it away yes he take, when he ta when god takes that boulder yes from you you when god takes that boulder from you he says here my son yes here my daughter that's right i'm here for you that's right you know go ahead and when he takes that from you yes you're free you're free to be another a new person in life. Go ahead. And when you're that new person in life, yes. When you're not you when you're not the new person in life, you you become this person that that walks around with Jesus. That's right. You walk around it with his footsteps. Yes. With his footsteps. You walk around w like he walked around in his time. That's right. You walk around blessing people. You walk around with a love. Yes. Love because if you don't have love in your heart, that's it. Then you don't have nothing. That's right, preacher. You know. You don't have nothing. So all I'm telling you, listen, come and come to the Lord. Yes. Listen, I give you an invitation. Yes. I send you an invitation. This invitation, I give it to you. It's a special invitation. It's a special invitation. Yes. And this invitation comes only from our goal, our Lord, our Savior. That's right. And this invitation, I, I give it to you. And it's not in paper. That's right. It's not in writing. That's right. It's through prayer, my That's brother. Through prayer. Pastor. So this invitation is our Lord Jesus Christ to get to know him. That's right. Get to know him. Yes. Amen. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Oh, my God. You heard it. All in Puerto Rico, all around the This ain't nothing but the Lord. 
Oh my God. You got to use today. I'm putting this on YouTube. Amen. Take it, watch it around. Oh, this is me? Yes, and I got something to hold your phone. Let me get it from a Oh, guard. thank you. Can I take a picture with you before yes, you go? Yes, yes, yes. Man, you on fire for God. Oh, my God. You anointed. Amen. What's your name again? Jonathan. You hear that in YouTube land, Jonathan, like in the Bible. But, man, you on fire. I got to take a picture with you, brother. Y'all on YouTube land, you heard the word. This is an invitation to Christ. This is an invitation to Christ. Like the man of God just preached people are being touched on the youtube right now even while you was preaching the word amen i felt it this amen. ain't nothing but god Woo. Ah. hallelujah that's it right there there amen. it is amen let me, let, me, let me get you the stick for your phone oh oh wow yes, yes. thank you man wow that ain't nothing but god thank you jesus hallelujah you heard what minister jonathan had preached now he wasn't even here when I was even preaching about this, about drawing nigh to God, and he'll draw nigh to you. He said, seek more Jesus. Other words, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then all these things shall be what? Added unto you. So when you draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh unto you. Oh my God, he said it right there. Now he wasn't even here, and the Holy Ghost used Minister Jonathan to confirm what the Holy Ghost was even saying. This ain't nothing but God. You see, G Lord, we thank you, Jesus. When you put your mind on Jesus, he'll keep your mind in perfect peace whose mind has stayed on him. Like Minister Jonathan with preaching the word all around the world. This is an invitation to Christ. Glory adios. Gracias Jesus. Amen. Oh where, where, my where, where God. Where can I find you on YouTube? You can go to Street Pastor. Street Pastor? Preacher Warren, I'm going to put it on there today and you're going to see yourself. Street Pastor. Hold on. Uh, Take your time. Okay. So I could find you and follow you. And then um, and one you're day we see could, yourself. One day, no, and one day I could join you as well. I would love for you to do that like you did today. Yeah. Cause I'm going to find a place where I can give indoor services. Oh, yes. And get the living services. Street okay. Pastor? Street Pastor. Mm -hmm. uh, preacher. Preacher. P -R -E, preacher Warren. Warren right here? Yes. That's me right there. Oh, and, amen. and go to all and and then go back to the first channel again right, here. I, right. you see all my YouTubes also I play bass guitar oh, be nice. playing bass music and that's all my street revivals I did stuff in New York City I came from the uh, Harlem and the Bronx so we came from the same area same, same this ain't nothing but God this brother we're gonna tag team we are now you're gonna see yourself on YouTube today so look out for it when it come on amen I'm gonna have this all around the world man you on fire amen thank you for the word Thank you for the word. I love you. And thank you for all these I gifts. You. I needed to something like this. Amen, God brother. bless you, man of God. Amen. I'll be here again. I'm going to have you preach again. Amen, I love you, Minister Jonathan. Amen, brother. Amen, man of God. Man, you're on fire for Jesus. Tell your family, I say, praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, glory, adios. testimony for my, for, when, for my church. It's going to be another testimony for my church. Okay. Amen. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to take this New Jersey for Jesus. Woo! Miracle revivals. Hallelujah. Thank God. God is already starting a Holy Ghost revival. Praise God here in New York, New Jersey. Oh my God. He's bringing God's people together. See, he's bringing people together who love Jesus. God is bringing people together who's on fire for God. Who's, who, who's all about souls. That's what it's all about. People spend more time chasing after a woman. Yes, it's good to love your wife. Yes, it's good to love your husband. But love Jesus more. And Jesus said, he that loveth his father and mother and sister, brother, daughter and son more than me, is not even worthy of me. Whoa, thank you, Jesus. Jesus is not saying don't love your family. Love your family, but love God more. Whoa, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Ah, I feel the Holy Ghost. You don't got to take no drug overdose. All you need is a Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Glory adios, gracias Jesus. People spend more time chasing after a man, idolizing a man, idolizing a woman, rather than idolize, rather than giving God the glory. That's why God said, I'm a jealous God. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Praise God. Many of you are loving your wives more than you love him. You're loving your husbands more than you love him, so you do more chasing after them. And many of you are chasing out the people who don't even love God. You're chasing out the her or him who don't even love God and they don't even love you. 
But the enemy wants you to use them to draw you away from God. God will never give you a wife or a husband who's going to try to draw you away from doing his will. Come on. Many of you are being tested to see how much you love him. Look what the Bible says. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart. Did it say some or all? All your heart. When they get that song called, This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I want to change that song around. Instead of saying, This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. I want to say, All this light of mine. That make more sense. I'm going to let it shine. Not a little bit of light. Because when you love the Lord thy God with all your heart, then you let all your light shine. Not a little bit of light shine. Jesus said, let your light so shine uh, that others may see your good works, that the Father may be glorified through his son Jesus. So when the Bible said in Deuteronomy chapter number 6 verse 4, he or Israel, which, which includes the church, Ecclesia, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God, hallelujah, with all your heart, yeah Lord, thank you Jesus, with all your soul, with all your mind. Where you love Jesus, Jesus come first. We praise God for Minister Ronald, who gave me the water on this week, and his family. We you love the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Then you let all your light shine. Then you don't put family above God. You love your family, but love God more. <laughs> Saxon fed in love with the wrong woman. The Bible said in Saxon, love the woman in the valley of Soret, whose name was Delilah. Judges chapter number 16, verse 4. Did the Bible ever say Delilah loved Samson? No. Did the Bible ever say that they was in love with each other? No. They just simply said in Saxon, love the woman in the valley of Soret, whose name was Delilah. The Bible never said that Delilah loved Samson. Because if Delilah really loved Samson, she would never have set him up. When the Philistines came to the Lila and said, we want to pay you silver, big money to find out the secret of his great strength. So the Lila gave into it. So the devil knew, the enemies of Samson knew, because Samson was anointed with great strength. He killed a lion with his bare hands. The Bible said Samson slayed a thousand Philistines with a jawbone of a donkey. Samson picked up the gate of Gaza that weighed more than a ton, ton, thousands of pounds like nothing, because Samson had great strength that was given to him by God. So they could not defeat Samson, but they knew Samson's weakness was Delilah. They got to his heart. So when he loved the wrong woman, he was sleeping with the enemy. Oh, come on, tell someone. Don't sleep with the enemy. Many of you are sleeping with the enemy. With someone who just only lusting after you. They just want sex. But they're not giving you respect. Because when someone loves you, they give you respect. Not just sex. Sex deal with lust. Love making deals with love. You really love each other after you make love. Some of you are sleeping with the wrong woman. Or with the wrong man who's out to bring you down. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Boy, you love Jesus. He'll open up your eyes to see. You're sleeping with the enemy. Samson was sleeping with the enemy. Samson was in love with the wrong woman. He was in love with Delilah who was trying to bring him down to try to make him lose the anointing that God has put upon his life. Many of you women are going through the same thing. Some of you are sleeping with an abusive man or an abusive woman. That's why you must love the Lord thy God with all your heart, not some of your heart. So you can love God so God with all your heart so God can open up your eyes to see the trap that the enemy is trying to set for you. Saxon was sleeping with the enemy. Saxon was sleeping with a woman who was trying to destroy him. Many of you are with a man who's trying to destroy him. That's why you must have your eyes on God so God can open up your eyes and see you with the wrong one. That's how some of y'all got trapped. God bless you. We love Jesus. And live a holy life. And present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He'll open up your eyes, you go into the wrong church. Some of you are chasing after titles and positions instead of chasing after more of Jesus. Honey, I want more of Jesus. Honey, I'm chasing after Jesus. 
I want to fall at the feet of Jesus. Like Mary fell at the feet of Jesus. I know Martha's mind was on getting Mary to clean up the house and help her in the house. Where well, Martha got mad because Mary was more concerned about hearing the words of Jesus. Huh? And Mary was more concerned about falling at the feet of Jesus. See, that's the place that God wants us to be. Falling at the feet of Jesus. Draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh unto you. Many of you are chasing after material things. Many of you are chasing after the flesh and not the spirit of God. Oh, come on. This is why you're going around in circles and going through the same trials because you have not learned yet. God said, seek me. Seek and he shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Seek my face. Put me first. When you say you love me. Draw nigh to me. Draw nigh to God and God will draw nigh to you. Many of you spend more time chasing after a man and chasing after a woman. And they're leading you away from God. They're leading you away from prayer. They're leading you away from reading your Bible. They're leading you away from spending time with God because now you are lusting and you want that woman so bad or that man so bad and you don't be careful, you find yourself in hell. It's a trap. I don't know, this is for somebody. I don't know who it's for, but God says it's a trap. The devil knows what you like. The devil knows what you like. He'll send you a beautiful woman. He'll send you a handsome man who don't love Jesus. You got to be careful who you get involved with, even in relationships. The devil know that we want love in our life, but love Jesus first. So when God give you a wife, she's not a knife. When God give you a husband, he loved Jesus. Now you can love Jesus together. Come on. Now you love each other, but don't worship each other. That's deep. So, so, there are couples who are so in love with each other that they worship you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. Thank God for the young man of God. He loved the truth. There are couples who are so in love with each other that you don't even realize that you're worshiping each other. Love each other, but don't worship each other. That worship go to God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's why God said, I am the Lord, and the Lord is my name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And my glory, I will not give to another. Oh, I feel Jesus. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. Love each other, but don't worship each other. That worship supposed to go to God. Many of you are idolizing your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Now you don't forget all about Jesus. You stop going to church. You stop praying. You don't read your Bible no more because your boyfriend don't want you to serve the Lord. But you and the boyfriend is going to hell. Honey, I ain't going to hell for nobody. I ain't going to hell for no woman. Some of you are obsessed. When you get to a point where you got obsessed. But you just got to have her. I can't live without her. No, I cannot live without Jesus. It's good to be in love, but not overly in love. When you get to a point where you're so in love, that you tell me, I cannot live without her. I can't live without him. Oh, I got to have you. Then you vulnerable. You, now you're in a vulnerable state. You better learn how to live without him. Honey, I cannot live without Jesus. Jesus is my foundation. Come on. Some of you overly in love until you're worshiping each other and don't even realize it. And God telling you, preach my word. Pass out tracts. There's souls out here, and the enemy is trying to deceive you by using that woman or by using that man to take your eyes off what God wants you to do. And you could have been winning souls all around the world, but you so in love, overly in love, until you're idolizing her, or idolizing him. You know what the Bible says about idolaters? It says idolaters will not inherit the kingdom of God. Come on. Draw nigh unto God. And he will draw nigh unto you. Now you will see God answer in prayer. Now you will see God answer more in your prayer. Because now you're seeking him. You're hungry for him. You're thirsty for him. Hallelujah. Now you begin to see God bless. Now you begin to see God provide. Now you begin to see God meet your needs. But don't just draw nigh to Jesus just for God to bless you. When God bless you, don't worship the blessing. Worship the blessor. Put the blessor above the blessing. Thank God for the blessing, but give the blessor the glory. The blessor is God. To God be the glory. <laughs> to God be all the glory. Stay humble when God bless you. Don't get puffed up. Don't become arrogant. Don't become dignified. Stay humble. That was the problem with Lucifer. Lucifer was second in command, but he became puffed up. 
He said, I will be as the most high God. According to Isaiah chapter 14, nobody can take God's place. So God cast Lucifer out of heaven. You got to stay humble when God bless you. I'm not better than nobody. I got to stay humble. Because if I get arrogant, God will bring me right back down. The same God who blessed me is the same God who can bring me back down and unbless me. Got to stay humble. That's why Jesus said, and the meek shall inherit the earth. What do it mean to be meek? It means to be humble. Now, it doesn't mean to let, to let people take advantage of you. Being humble do not mean to let people walk over you. That's not what Jesus meant by being humble. He wanted us to be warriors too for him. It means stay humble and submit yourself to God. Lord, I surrender. God bless you. Glory, adios. Glass to say, Zeus. Submit yourself to God. Lord, I surrender. Do what you want to do, God. Let your will be done. I deny myself and pick up my cross to follow you, Jesus. To win a soul for Jesus. Even if one soul come to Jesus, it was worth it. The angels rejoice over one soul. As a young man made the altar call. It's a call to Jesus. Because of my high emotion. Because the mile is not guaranteed to you or me. Neither the next moment is guaranteed to you or me. Where will you spend eternity if you was to pass away today? Really, we never die. It's the body that dies. The soul, the spirit lives on. It's either going to heaven or hell. There's no purgatory. God don't want to see no one go to hell. That's why Jesus paid the price on the cross, on the tree, on the cross of Calvary. To wash away you and I sins. You and my sins. With his precious blood. Will you repent? And be baptized. Whoa. Lord. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For the remissions of sins. And he shall. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter number 2. Verse 38. Obey. Acts chapter 2 verse 38. And you can make it to the pearly gates. Don't play it. Don't play it. Acts 38. Obey Romans chapter number 10, verse number 9 and verse 10. Repent from sin and let the Lord live with it. That thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that he was crucified. And God is raised from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. And with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confessing is made in the salvation. That whosoever calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is a calling to repentance. Time is winding up. The stage is being set for the Antichrist. The Antichrist is the deceiver. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Choose ye this day who you shall serve. Hallelujah. God is Satan. Praise God. We all going to stand before God one day. And the Bible said, whoever name is not found in Richard, in the land's book of life, shall be cast in the lake of fire. But you don't have to, to go to hell. Jesus want to give you eternal life. If your name is in the book of life, you will have eternal life. To be with Jesus Christ. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, he's the way. Not dope. Jesus is a great hope. I'm not talking about the Pope. Even the Pope needs a great hope. All them child molesters up in the Roman Catholic Church, they need Jesus up in there. Not just only the Roman Catholic Church, you got to be even in the Baptist churches, and Pentecostal churches. Too much sin, but you can repent from sin and say, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Jesus is our high priest. You don't have to see a, a priest like they did under law of Moses. Got to be child molesting priests anyway. They need to see the real priest, Jesus Christ, and ask God forgiveness for their sins for being a child molester. Child molesters are going to hell. You're supposed to protect the child and not molest the child. It's nasty. It's wicked. It's evil. It's an abomination. We all need to see the high priest, Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Hamashiach, Jesus. His name is in many different languages. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. His name is not Zeus. His name is Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Praise God. We're going to pray the prayer of faith for the people all around the world. For those who got a problem with drugs, let the Lord give you a hug. 
You don't need no dope. God is a great hope. You don't got to take no angel dust and God we ought to trust. You don't need to take no jug overdose. All you need is the Holy Ghost. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you shall receive power. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. They received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost. In Acts chapter number 2. They spoke with other tongues as the Spirit of God has gave them utterance. He told them to go to the upper room to be endowed with power. So God can give you power to live right. To cast out devils. Stay in your word. Except a man be born again, Jesus said to Nicodemus. In St. John chapter 3. Of the water and of the spirit. Verse 3. He cannot enter to the kingdom of heaven. Of God. Get baptized in his name. One Lord and one faith and one baptism. For he is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. That's the purpose why he said to get baptized in the name. Matthew chapter number 28. Verse 19. Don't skip over the name. Many of you are skipping over the name. Nowhere in the word of God will you sing Trinity. He said baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. If the name was not important, he would never have to say up the name. Christ told the disciples to teach, teach and observe everything I commanded you. Well, Apostle Peter observed. Then Peter said to them, repent. Very simple. That's not hard to understand. I'm not using big encyclopedia words. A dictionary, cause of the words. I'm speaking very basic. Then Peter said unto them, Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. For the remissions of sins and he shall receive the gift of the holy ghost santa claus cannot give you that gift because santa claus ain't nothing but the devil santa claus means satan want to grip you in his claws that's what santa claus mean jesus wants to deliver you out of the devil's claws out of his grip not santa claus you ain't never heard santa claus even mention jesus christ if Christmas is supposed to be about the birth of Jesus, then why you ain't never heard Santa Claus mention Jesus? Because Santa Claus is the devil. Come on. Acts chapter number 2, verse 38. Acts chapter number 4, verse 12. Acts chapter number 8, verse 12, and verse 16. Acts chapter number 10, verse 48. I gave these scriptures before. Acts chapter number 19, verse 5. They all baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They understood that he is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. They are not separate. These three are one. One Lord, and one faith, and one baptism. This is in the Bible. Praise God. I like that. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Let's get into it right now real quick. I want to give you the scripture like I gave on yesterday. Let's get into God's word. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to give you the scripture so y'all can read it. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5 to verse 6. God bless you. Happy to see you. Praise the Lord. One Lord and one faith, one baptism, one God and one Father. Oh, Lordy, of all, who is above all and through all and in you all, one faith. One Lord and one faith and one baptism. It's all in Jesus Christ. Get baptized in his name. When you get baptized in the name of Jesus, you're getting baptized in power because there's power that, that's in the name of Jesus. The devil cannot stand that name Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. Joy in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Salvation in the name of Jesus. And serve Jesus. Joy nigh unto him. Let the Lord draw nigh unto you. Baptism represents transformation, rebirth spiritually. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. If any man be in Christ, he becomes a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. God can set you free from smoking. Now you can stop choking. Because cigarettes will give you lung cancer. Cigarettes can give you a heart attack. That wonderful body that God has given you is not for drugs. Let the Lord give you a hug. God's love can deliver you from drugs. That wonderful body that God has given you is not for crack and cocaine. So get in God's domain. Let the Lord deliver you from crack and cocaine. Now you no longer will be insane. I feel Jesus. That's when God do a transformation. When you receive God's holy information. Basic instruction before leaving earth. God bless you. 
We thank God for Minister Jonathan who joined me today, who brought forth the word of God. I'm a type of man, if you can preach, you, I know you ordained by God, you anointed. I'll let you preach. Not to those who ain't called, not those who are not anointed. As long as you living right, living a sanctified holy life, no, we're not perfect. If you got a call in your life and you know God called you to preach, do what God called you to do. But don't be idolizing a woman or a man above your, the call that God had put upon your life. Don't be like Jonah. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh and <laughs> preach to the city and warned him. Jonah ran away down to Tarshish. You know the story. You know what God did to Jonah? Put him in a big fish for three days until he said, yes, Lord. And then God used Jonah to preach to Nineveh. And Nineveh of repentant. Don't let God have to chastise. The minute you are idolizing your cause. Nothing wrong with a car, but don't worship the car. Many of you are idolizing your house. Nothing wrong with a beautiful house, but don't worship the house. All that worship go to God. The Bible said they worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Romans chapter 1 verse 21. Go to verse 25 as well. I'm not supposed to make no one an idol. When I watch American Idol, I say, no, nah, I don't want nobody to be my idol. All that worship go to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Dios. Gracias, Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua Hamasia. We're praying for you. We're praying for every person in this street. That God can save you and your families. But it's up to you. God doesn't force his word on nobody. God give everyone free will and free choice. It's up to you. My job is just to preach the word. How can he hear without a preacher? How can he preach except he's been sent? But it's your choice. It's up to you. Hallelujah. Choose ye this day who you shall serve. There'll be no excuse when we stand before God in judgment day. He'll tell Michael, play the videotape. And Jesus will say, look how you heard my word being preached and you resisted it. And we thank God for those who received the word. If one soul come to Jesus, angels rejoice over one soul who come to Jesus. It was worth it. A young man was just about to commit suicide in Harlem where I was born at. We heard me preach the gospel. He changed his mind and said, I don't want to commit no suicide after I heard the gospel. It was worth preaching the gospel to stop somebody from committing suicide. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. He got saved. The Lord began to show me that he got molested when he was a child. And the Lord began to heal him. God is a healer. He'll heal your broken heart. He'll heal you from the hurt. All the flashbacks of the past for you is molested and sexually abused. That's why many of you went on drugs because you're trying to find an answer to your problem. Jesus is the answer for the world today. And God can work a miracle for you today. When you have faith and believe, with God all things are possible. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. And though he slain, though he was dead, yet shall he live. And he that believeth in me shall never die. Believe is thou this mouth. Do you believe? Draw nigh to him. And draw nigh to God. Draw nigh to him. He'll draw nigh to you. Hallelujah. It's just the devil. He shall flee. Stop chasing after people more than chasing after God. Then you begin to see God bless you and your family. Then you'll see God bless you and your children. Have church in your house. That's a wonderful thing. Hallelujah. Have prayer in your house. Before you go to the church building and then pray for your family. Pray for your pastor if he's a man of God. Pray for the church family. Pray one for another. Don't be jealous of one another. Don't work no witchcraft against each other. Because when you work a witchcraft against somebody, it'll backfire. What goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. When you live by the sword, you die by it. I had never seen so many folk in church doing witchcraft. For going, going out to witch doctors, trying to put curses on folk. But you're blessed. you blessed. They can't curse you because you're blessed. Y'all blessed. Hallelujah. God bless y'all today. You're welcome. Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Come on, tell the devil, I'm too blessed to be stressed. Don't let nobody make you lose your joy. 
the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you got the Holy Ghost, don't, don't be no drug overdose. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be shouting, jumping around the church, I mean, going down the witch doctors. You're blessed. God bless you, believe for us. God bless you. Bless the woman cop. Bless the Lord and protect her God as she protect the people in the streets. But protect every person in these cars. And, you, and Lord, you can save them, Jesus. Save our children. There's too much gun violence going on in the school. Save the little children. Suffer little children to come unto Jesus. And even bless the parents and the grandparents. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And forbid the night, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brother. God bless you. Praise God in the church. God bless you. God bless you. You and your children. May God save you. He loves you today. And let's love one another. As Christ have loved you. Chase after Jesus. You'd be surprised that God will bless you. God has great things in store for you. God has great things in store for you. He will heal your broken heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, man of God and woman of God. I'm so happy to see both of y'all today. Oh, thank this for me. Oh, my God. Man, you almost had me in tears right now. Oh, my God. Say something about the Lord before you go again. The, you keep it. Listen, yes. The Lord, the, Lord will the Lord is good. As long as you keep your mind clear. Yes. As long as you keep your mind clear, yes, your your heart pure. That's right. And keep your faith. You don't let go of your faith. Yes. No matter what, faith right. comes number one. Yes. Don't let go of your faith and always keep your eyes up That's on the right. Lord. That's where it's supposed right. to be. Amen. Amen. Thank you, you and your wife. God Thank bless you. you. Is your mother? You look so young. Young, right? She look like she. 35 years old. <laughs> Glory out of your glasses, Jesus. I have a 63. 63. Yeah. Wow, it's an honor to meet your family. Amen. Y'all are such an awesome family. This is a new beginning of our connection. Amen. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you, mother. And God bless you, man of God. Amen. You're going to be on YouTube today, so watch out for it. Amen. Love y'all. Glory, adios. Bless you, Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Praise God. They give you another gift. Praise God. Another microphone system with an amp. I didn't expect this today. This ain't nothing but God. God bless them and God bless every person who walk them down the street and bless them in the cars. Lord, touch the young people and the older people and the middle-aged people. Protect our children and the teenagers and the senior citizens. Save the people. Let your angels watch over the people everywhere they go. Jesus loves you. He loves your daughter. God bless your daughter. God got great things in store for you. Lord, protect her, Lord. Let your angels watch over her, God, everywhere she goes. God, you got a great plan for her life. Save her. Fill her with the power of your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we praise God for Ronald, who owns this building right here. He walked up and gave me water on last week. Y'all can call this number, 856-389-3416. Clinton Avenue. Praise God. 1395. They got a wonderful business here going. Minister Rano owned this place. He came up and gave me water. So come on by. God got something great for you to do. And most of all, we thank God for Jesus Christ and for God's holy angels. And most of all, we give you the glory, God. Anyone who want to send to our cash app? Our cash app is Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. Flame of Fire 8 under Pastor Warren Adams. May God turn your decrease in the increase. We got you on the prayer list. And expect great things. Don't forget. Draw nigh unto God. And he will draw nigh unto you. We'll see you again.